Hi, how can I help you today? One second. What do you mean one sec? One sec. I used to mean one sec when you come here. How can I help you today? I'm trim. I'm getting trim upstairs. Then you need to check in with me. No. no. Trim upstairs. You're just going to go upstairs like that. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode of The Appointment Show. Today we have someone very dear to me. She's not only our favourite girl, she is my, f not my favourite friend, no, she's not my favourite friend, but she's my friend, so I'll give it to her that, yeah, she showed up. We have our beautiful Darko. How are you feeling? I'm great, man. You, was, you look tired, you was out yesterday. You look good, but you look tired. Yeah. You was out yesterday. Yeah, outside, sometimes. I'm not outside, I'm inside. Good for you. But I've been inside, so it's... That's it's, a lie. You are outside. No, I'm not. Outside general. No, I'm not. So you're general. inside most of the time? Yeah. But I only started coming out like this, like, May. May? I've been in the studio, like, I've, I've, then I've barely been in the country. Mm. Oh, yeah, but you're flying up, but you're still kind of outside. You're having fun. Oh, yeah, but not in London. Okay, so you're, you're not outside in London? Yeah. Okay, cool. Just to get into the interview just to break the ice we are gonna play a game of choose your style so basically i'm gonna give you two options and you just pick your, your style mm. you know what i'm saying Got it. okay first one is asha care or rema what do you mean like in terms of like your favorite person like, like music yeah overall yeah asha care rema they're both my favorites Rema. Why do you pick Rema? He's on the remix. <laughs> if you don't pick Rema now, Gabsy or Adil? Why are you doing this? What are you talking about? This is, they're in the same type of, same type of music. So you have to pick one. Who are you going to play forever? Gabsy oh, or Adil? No, it's not about play. Don't say that. Okay, okay. who are you picking overall? I'll pick overall. Yeah. I'll pick all because we grew up together. Adil? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're from the same area and yeah. stuff. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Nigeria or Ghana overall experience? Nigeria. Why? But you no, you like Ghana though. I do, but overall experience Nigeria for sure. Really? Why? Because it's Nigeria, bro. You know this. Why are you asking me questions like you no, don't know? I know this because I didn't have a good experience in Ghana. Maybe I've had I... great experiences in Ghana, but I just I know that like guaranteed Nigeria is just more of a but, yeah it's more so of a vibe. Mm. Okay, international girls or UK girls? I mean, they. You know you've had your fair. Of what? You're crazy. <laughs> what are we going for? Um, international. Why? International love now. Why? What's wrong with our UK girls? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get US passports. So yeah, but that's not why though. Why do you think they're better than UK girls? Do our citizenship. Why? Are they, why for. are they better than UK girls? I didn't say they're better. I said I'm looking for a passport. But that's not the reason. How, that's not what you're I'm based on. I'm looking for an American passport. So that's how you're picking international yeah. girls for the passport. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a babe that makes <laughs> a babe that makes music or a video vixen. <laughs> oh my, you have to both pick one. worse. You have to pick one. <laughs> you was crying the other day about girls that make music. I can't. I can't, I can't. Okay, I'll do a girl that will do music. I'm not doing a video of Vixen. Why? But she doesn't have to be... Not all videos are bad videos. Maybe a Drake video, like, once. You know what I'm saying? You're acting like girls in Drake videos. They're not doing some mad things. You're based off the person she's doing it for. Yeah, because then you'd be like, it's a Drake video, isn't it? Even I, I, Drake called me and said he wants me to be his video girl. I'll do it. <laughs> you wouldn't say... <laughs> you wouldn't say you would just be in the Wait, video. If you said, Paul, we're gone. You're then in the, the video. Dress, I'm there. No, but you're not doing that. You're not doing that. Okay, last one. Favorite girl or pickup? Favorite girl. Rather than pickup? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Why? Yeah. But are you just saying that because pickup is old now? No, I just I think melodies wise and just the whole process of the song and everything and writing in the studio. I think favorite girl. Favorite girl. It was fun. Okay, on to our first bit of the show. Firstly, thank you for coming. When I'm talking to you, look excited. Don't, what? don't your eyes should not be closed. Like I'm talking to you, your eyes are there. They should be on me. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, cool. So obviously, well, I don't know if everyone knows, but I know you grew up in Nigeria mm. and then you came to the UK. Mm -hmm. Um, how was it like from come from being from Nigeria then coming to the UK and like settling down and stuff like that? And how was it even going up in Nigeria? I feel like I know, but I don't really know. Um, growing up in Nigeria. I feel like it was, 
when I'm broke, it was the average, mm. but tipping more to the broke side. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But obviously, I never really had to worry about certain things. Because they always provided. Yeah, because, yeah. I think, I wasn't supposed to tip into the broke side. We were just average. But even at that age, you don't really know what oh, you, know. you could have. Do you, you think know you know? You know, because if you're broke in Nigeria, if, if you don't have nothing in Nigeria, it's even, the thing about Nigeria is, it's like, it's either on your one end or, or you're on the, the other, other end. end. Or maybe you're just about in the middle. Mm. But there's no like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't have, you can't find, like, you're literally struggling to eat, eat food. Yeah, or, or you're, not, not you're knowing good. what your next meal is going to yeah. be. Or, like, maybe you're just about okay. Mm. Or you're rich as hell. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. With Nigeria, I feel like we was, in the, we was in the middle. Yeah. Ish. And, okay, so you came, you like, what age was it when you came to London and stuff? Eight. You was eight? Yeah. So then when did you start, like, when did music actually start for you? Or like, Even when you was in Nigeria, did you know, like, oh, mom, I'm singing this song and it sounds good and I want to no. do this? No. Music was never, like, the plan. What was the plan? I used to be a footballer. See, the fact that your papa's in... He's never seen me kick ball, so don't do that. No, but that's the thing. He's never seen you kick ball. What Cause made... Because I don't play ball anymore, bro. When did you play? The last time I played, played football, I fainted. Because it was too much exercise. <laughs> <laughs> when you say that's called ambulance. How long was you playing football for that you said this is the thing I wanted I to do? I won't lie, I was a baller, innit? Let me just put that there, innit? Okay. I was a baller. You've never kept ball. You don't even like working out, bro. I go gym now. How often? I've been I've been going to gym for like four months now. How often in a week? Oh, five times a week. You're lying. Well, am I lying? You go five times a week? Yes. And, but you wanted to be a baller. So it's given that you can have, you have some strength. Oh, like, listen, I used to be mad. I used to have a six pack and everything. Who? Me. When? Growing up. I was a baller, you know. I swear to God, I was a baller, like, for real, for real. I was actually, I was actually playing football. That's what I wanted to do. So when did it stop? When did that career say, no, it's, it's done? I think it kind of stopped. I felt like I fell out of love with football in, like, secondary school because it was just kind of hard going to a girls' school and everybody just wants to talk about boys and stuff. Like. Oh, you went to a girls' school? Yeah. Really? What school is it? St. Catharines. Oh. SCC, but everyone just wants to talk about boys. And, and you didn't want it. to talk about boys? Obviously, I, I wanted to fit in it, so I did talk about boys. <laughs> but and did then, you know? Everybody wants to come to like my football. Like, it, was just, it was just long, and it? it was hard doing it because all my friends are all girly girls, and they're not into what I'm into. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it was just a myth, man. To play football? Yeah. Mm. So, so then just... when did you start making like getting into music? You said... Like year nine. Year nine? How? Year nine, year ten. Really? How? We used to do rap battles, innit? And you was there rapping. You know St. Ursula's? You know St. Yeah, I'm, I'm South South. You know your side's not really South South. My, yeah. yeah. No, wherever you want to say. I'm from Where? South. You're not. I don't know that school, boy. Yeah, but, but anyways, we used to have rap beef, innit? And like, we, was, we hide our phones in school and then make the video. Mm. And then like, and then, and then beef them. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. rap, innit? Yeah. But obviously, I used to like, you know, front man up. You know what I'm saying? And how was you in the rap battle? Was you... Was I was you... calm, innit? And then from there, I just felt like, ah, oh, I actually like music. And then... I want to run with this. Yeah, and then I went to studio for the first time. And it was banging. It was banging. Your first hit, Gangst... Well, your first... I won't say... Cause to, like, you know, I feel like people that went... The like, first obviously song went, that made yeah, you know me, innit? We went... Yeah, your first known song. But I feel like people that went college with you, they know yeah. the songs that you was making yeah. before, like, how they were banging. Mm -hmm. But your first hit, like, Gangstar, did you know it was going to be a hit, bef like, when you was mm -hmm. putting it out? No, because even the producer that done it, I didn't even want to do a session with him, bro. Uh, it was so jarring. Oh. But, like, it was after church one day, innit? I remember I left church early. That's mm -hmm. the day I made them gangsta on a Sunday. <laughs> Fair, but you left church early. But at least, least you went to church. I like, you know, at least I went to church. At least you went. And I remember I, it was, oh, my church was in Bellingham. Bellingham. Was it Bellingham? Bellingham. 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 Yes. But are we saying it right? Are we saying it right? Bellingham. Bellingham. Yeah, Bellingham. Yeah, Bellingham. Yeah. Bellingham. Yeah. I'm saying no, what she's saying. The place. The place. <laughs> Not Bellingham. Yeah. Bellingham. Bellingham. Go yeah. on. Calm. And then I remember I hopped on the train, bro, and I'd done the session, and then don't watch shit song and then after that we just make gangster and then I think I went home that day and I just made a video with my cousin. And I remember my my I remember that, remember video. that video. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then my um my cousin them times was bugging me about using Twitter. Mm. So I was like, I don't get Twitter like it's like obviously I'm eight, 18 these times. Isn't it? So time, I was like yeah. it's not really my you know it was none of our things to yeah, be fair. It's not really yeah. my thing. 
but she was bugging me. So she was like, oh, you know what you should do? Follow bare people on Twitter. Yeah, follow them. And everybody just follow you back in it. Do you know what I'm mm. saying? Because obviously, like you said, people still knew who I was because of the music I was, you know what I'm saying? For, yeah. Um, and then I just, I followed bare people and then I just posted the video and then it just went it just, crazy. I can't, I remember that video. Yeah. yeah. But when you, because you said you made the song this year, was you, but did you have a remix when you made it already? Like, was he on oh, You mean Asen? Yeah. No, no, no. I think when it went viral, then obviously. He jumped on the remix. He hit me, yeah. Because it was, he, he knew my manager, my manager at the time. Mm. So, yeah, he hit me and then he just jumped on the, that was the original. It was a remix. No, it, well, Asen is the original. Oh, that's what I'm saying. So when he was in the studio, was he there with you? No. So you just sent him the song yeah. and then he jumped, he jumped on, it. on it. And then the remix was David O.T. on Wayne. Yeah, da, 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 da. Yeah. When you got your first check for Gangsta, mm. how did you spend it? Did you cash out? Because obviously you're young. It's big money. Uh. I'm guessing. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. How I'm did, yeah, I'm not wrong. <laughs> how, did you, how did you like cash out? That's new thing. Cash out. No, I wonder I was in suffrages like every day. Uh, with the check, I remember I was in suffrages every day. <laughs> with the money, spending money, bro. Did it go? Did it go like nah. quickly? No, no, no. I was able to um to find a balance in it. Obviously, now when you, you first, have. Now I have, but but I still have money from gangster. Yeah, that, I'm not... yeah exactly. Mm. So as you know what I'm saying, mm. so yeah, I was definitely able to to maintain it. Mm. Well, obviously, I needed to feel that I had money. You know, you come on, when you get a check, you got to test and be like, okay. But and you was testing it in suffrages. I was testing it. <laughs> so, <laughs> did your family like? Did you spend? Was it more you or did you spend it in your family as well? Everyone, really. Obviously, when I got the first check, I gave my mom like and my dad a percentage, like ten percent, mm -hmm. and I gave my sister peas. Yeah. And many church, you... church like, really you go to church? Yeah. Oh, I actually know the church you was going to. Do you still you don't go to that church anymore? No, I go to another church now. Mm. So when you first started doing music, how did your family take to it? Like, was they like? Because I don't know how it is, but like for me, if I started, if I told my dad and mum I wanted to start making music, mm. they'll tell me to go and read. Like, mm -hmm. it won't be a thing where they say, "Yeah, I'm, I, I, I agree with what you're doing." Mm -hmm. So how was it for you? They definitely told like they they didn't tell me not to do it, mm. but. They didn't say go do it either. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It was either like you either you're gonna balance school and music. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Obviously, because we went to college together. So yeah. I was still in college yeah. and doing what I was doing at the same time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I used to get in a lot of trouble because In college? No, you know, no, I didn't get in trouble in college. Um yeah, I used to get in a lot of trouble. It was good. It was good, yeah. Yeah, you were good. <laughs> um I used to get in trouble because I'll come home at like two. AM. Yeah. What was you doing? Studio. Studio. Mm. And my dad used to tell the whole family, in fact, my neighbours, in fact, everyone. Mm. He told everyone, snitch on me, saying, look how the time she's coming back. You know the person that produced Gangster? Was he not going to our college? Was it not, was it? No, that was another one. That was, was, that was CTK. What was the other one? P, the... S -S -S not sick up. There's another one. Yeah, there is. Yeah, the... The, the, the other the one. The, one. Oh, yeah, the dead <laughs> one. The dead one. It was from there. But did the one that went to our college, did he help produce any music for, for me? He did, no. Scratch, was he? Did he not? Oh, you're talking about Scratch? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, he mixes, like, the vocals. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay. So did you know he was doing, producing music then, in college? Yeah, we was working together, actually, yeah. It was work I was working with Scratch as well, then times as well, yeah. So, obviously, when you started making, obviously, Gangster Blue, and then you started getting bigger and stuff, did you feel like people started acting weird when you was getting bigger, like, the people closest to you? It's like, before, you was hitting me up, but now you're hitting me up. Like, do you feel like relationships change and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. How? It happens, though, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Mm. It does happen. Yeah. I feel like it's even... If, if certain people see you now chilling with um, Future and a uh, 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 certain man, they're going to start... You know what I'm saying? You're expecting you a bit more. It happened. It happened. And I don't really care because I know who's for me and who's not for me. But the people that were for, there for you before, it's not like they wasn't for you, but obviously your status has gone bigger. Mm -hmm. So I'm talking about the people that was there for you before. Are they still there now or like... Did the Essentially, the people that, yeah, were there for me like before, as in I'm talking like from the beginning, beginning. Mm. Yes, they're still there. But like obviously people who I've met between times, I might not have the closest relationships like I did, but I feel like that's, that's, that's life though. It's, mm -hmm. in, in general, like, you know, you might go... Go college together, you go different uni, you you kind you of part. drift apart. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And plus, 
what with what man's doing. I don't really have time for myself, even talk less of my even f- my family. Yeah. So I don't really have time to like mm, catch that flare. Sorry, mm-hmm. I'm not catching it in my hands. Catch it. Mm, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I don't even have time for my own family like that. Do you feel like you started switching on people because I hear like other people switching, but when people get, they start acting a bit different. Like I don't. It's n- I, I mean, you tell me. <laughs> Are you asking me? Are you asking me? <laughs> you tell me. I don't feel like I sw- bro. I'm busy. Like I've got things I'm doing. I got a million things in my head. Like I'm busy. When I see you, I'm gonna show you the love. I've always shown you love, haven't I? Are you telling me you're asking me? I'm telling you that you always show me. Love. I know. What have I not shown you love? You always show me love. Okay, there yeah. we go. So I've always shown you love. Yeah. And because of, like I said, you was in, I met you at a point in time where without the status, you showed me love. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. So I feel like naturally, that's how it's going to be. Mm. But obviously, me having time, like, to be texting every day might not happen. Yeah, because we wasn't texting every day before anyway, so, so it's yeah. not a thing. It's but not... even, okay, cool. So that's for the people, like, before. But I, what about the new people that come up? I feel like people at, like, the new people that come to play in people's lives when they're there is like they don't really mess with them because it's like you wasn't there before mm. but I actually think it's gas I think they actually take to them more because of their status like especially if they're big mm. they chill with them more than they would chill with their normal friends yeah what do you, I, 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 but I see through that though like I know though isn't it? Like, mm. I'm not stupid so what are you doing it for? Are you doing it more for like work if, if purposes? No, if, if if your vibe is calm and you're not a horrible person, then yeah, calm. Mm. But I know your I know your purpose in my life. I know that within if something bad went wrong, it's, I think it's better to know that in it that if this person's not riding really, mm. you know what I'm saying? I know that they're not riding and it's calm. Mm. If are having a good time, then I'm not gonna stop that. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like from I feel college darker and you darker, you're it's different, but it's the same. I feel like college darker, you was more <laughs> <laughs> you was more like you was um yeah you was what? I, I think I to extend it like you was not as confident as you are okay. now mm-hmm. I feel like obviously I'm not going to answer the question for you I'm going to ask you like do you feel like you've come into yourself more from like before before yeah yeah obviously you know that yeah you know what I'm saying? Like, I, 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 I feel like I was confident maybe not as you confident. was but not cheeky. like, yeah, you were very cheeky, but very cheeky. one-on-one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I wasn't like a loud, like a massive loud, loud character like that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying it's because like, I've been with you in Nigeria, yeah, and we've uh. walked in the club, and the way you're walking, your stance, it's like, yeah, like, you think so? college, you might just come in like, mm-hmm. obviously you're not going to come in like this, but it's very much like, you're you're more free with the people that you're closest to, yeah. you know, but now it's like you walk in the room, you don't even care who's there. Mm. Why do you think, do you think that's always been you or do you think music's made that? You? Yeah, obviously music gives you some sort of, knowing that you put something in the world that everyone loves, it gives you some sort of confidence. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I've always seen myself as a star, hence why I was quite careful with certain things that I've done. Like, you know what I'm saying? not Just in general, I don't feel like, not careful, but, if you see yourself at being in this position, you're always going to take certain steps to make sure that nothing that you've ever done before comes and ruins what, your, what you're doing now. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So I think I kept it quite sweet. Yeah. Obviously, you know when you get money, you look clean. They say you're not ugly. You're just broke. Fair. So obviously, it's not like that no more, isn't it? How you know did you that? look before you had money? You remember how I looked? Yeah, but tell me. A mess. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't look a mess. You didn't look a mess, but you definitely But look- not this clean. No, nah, 100%. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. What would you... But even you yourself... What? You, you, you know I've got sexier. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not disputing that. Yeah. I'm not disputing that. But I'm saying, how did you look before? <laughs> how did you look before? How did I look before? Yes, like, obviously... Not as sexy. But that's... Okay, but the reason why I didn't see you as sexy back then, I thought you was cute as a... Because you was wearing wigs and makeup yeah. and stuff, so I'm not going to see you as sexy. I was a bit confused. Oh. But now it's like... You know what I'm saying I know me. That's what I'm saying. You're more into yourself. I'm more into myself. I kind of find myself now. So it's like, would you wear makeup again for the shoots and stuff? But not 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 really? going out. W- wig. Yeah, for the you know when I do the switch ups and stuff. Yeah, you're still doing that. I do that. Maybe Darkisha comes up maybe once Darkisha, every two years. You named her. Yeah, that's my alter ego. And you like it for the shoot? Yes. But do you feel as sexy as? No, but when I when I when I do do the makeup thing, I think raw peak. Your peak. I think you look better without makeup. I think so too. Like your skin and everything. You look good without makeup. Thanks. How do I look without makeup? You look gorgeous. Mm. 
Okay, <laughs> cool. So going back into the music thing, what is one thing you regret doing early on that you've learned from that you wouldn't do again when it comes to music? Or even just like people around you and stuff like that? Definitely people around me. I think I was hanging around the wrong crew. Really? Remember in the, college? Not, not in college, no. Like obviously when gangs and everything. Remember all that shit that was happening? Mm -hmm. Like all of the... Are you saying that? Are you not saying that? Nah, all the whole, you know, the madness yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah. Yeah, too much, too much trouble, too much stuff like that. Mm. I think I should have just kept it calm. Mm. Now it's calm. Like, I think I'm around the right people. Not saying, because I grew up with those people that I was with. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But I just felt like it was just, wasn't beneficial for me at that point. Mm -hmm. Getting in all that trouble and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I think now I kind of know that, okay, this is where I need to be at. This is who I need to hang out with. Mm. This is who, I, like, I'm going to hang out with the, the man then, but. Not too much that their ops are coming for me. Mm. So you've had to switch up in friends. So how have you removed the bad ones and? I won't say bad ones. Bad ones. Not bad ones, one. but obviously you yeah. hanging out with the wrong people. Yeah, I I don't know. I just I took time for myself. Mm. I started chilling, but with my just myself, and I realized okay, cool. These are the right people mm. that I actually want to chill with. But when I'm hanging out with them, I don't really get in trouble. Mm. Do they you still fight you and stuff? Yeah, we're all good. Like, you know what I'm saying? We're all good. There's not, no like, bad blood or anything like that. We're all good. We hang around here and there. Mm. But I just, I don't want Wahala, man. Fair enough. Okay, guys. So we are going to get into our next segment, which is called Say It or Shot It. So your first question is, state the name of the fakest person you've met in the industry. Why? Why are you just not even giving them a small... Mm. Nah, I can't do that. Why? I can't do that. It's not too much of a holler. What, with people? Next question is, did you cheat in your last relationship? <laughs> <laughs> what questions are this? Oh, you, you said you don't want to drink today. You're drinking today, boy. And drink it well. Your next question is, who is one artist you've worked with but regret working with? Oh, why? You, you just keep gonna keep making me drink. You said no limit. I'm not trying to draw nobody out. That's fine. Just drink. And I like that, that you're not drawing. Every, this is the person you are. You're showing everyone what you are. But well, you're getting drunk today. Okay, next question is, have you ever done anything with a fan? Yeah. Oh, you have? Yeah. How, how far? How deep? How deep? Deep. Deeper than deep. <laughs> Deep life. Okay, cool. Have you ever been exed out of a song you were meant to be on? Yeah. What was it? What song was it? Can't remember, but yeah, no. You can't remember the song. Mm. You can't remember the song. I don't know, draw them out. It's not a draw out, actually. I thought it was a draw. Yeah. Out. Okay. Cool. Be comfortable with what you're saying. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Okay. Cool. Did you buy your ex-girlfriend a Rolex because you was unfaithful? Where did you get that from? I saw in an interview that um, you bought her a Rolex because you messed up. So in my head, I'm thinking, wow, a Rolex, like, what are you doing? What's the mess up? So I just thought, oh, let me just ask you. Because you, cause you spoke about it. Um, what's unfaithful? <laughs> 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 um, I think unfaithful is being like speaking to like someone. Like texting? Emotionally, physically. Texting? Fi uh, emotionally is unfaithful. Texting? Is unfaithful. So, however you see it, it's unfaithful. To be fair, those times we weren't like together, together. So, then why would you buy her the very next then? Because you don't really. Because, have... because I, I wanted to be together, together, but I didn't realize I wanted to be together, together until she said, I'm done. And I say, hey. Well, that makes sense. Because you technically didn't do anything wrong. No. Obviously, I did it because I wanted to, though. Know? Obviously, I'm not going to get something. I'm not stupid. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But the reason is because you was unfaithful. Okay, right. Cool. So, I'm giving you two options. <laughs> so, option one is, and you have to say names and where the power it is, is either you remove an artist off a feature that you've done. Mm -hmm. Option one. Option two is all the songs... Or all, all the songs in your catalogue, you have to remove. Like, all your songs get removed. What are you doing? And who is the artist, if you do pick, to get off the feature? Or all your songs get removed? Chat. <laughs> 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 
Qué es Tu es Take off my song. Hmm? Take off all your song? Yes, I don't, I'm a drinker. You can't do that. Even for that answer, you have to... Do... <laughs> you have to drink. Love it, love it. Love it. No, that's this what one. you said. I answered answer the question. Take off my song. I, I'm only giving you one pass because that's a lie. Take off that's all a... my songs. Okay, cool. As long as I get to keep my money, calm. Hmm. But, okay, cool, cool. Pick one. Either your song with Tion Wayne or your song with Arista. Arista. Really? Yeah. Well, you made a lot of with Tion, though. Arista. Really? Yeah. Arista. Yeah. Why? Because I love Arista. Do you not love Tion? I love Arista. Okay. Um, in terms of... Okay, cool. So, this... We have two questions for this. So, in terms of artists, who would you feature, tour, or void? You have J.O., Gabzi, Odil. Who are you going to feature, tour, and avoid? So, I say feature Odil because we don't have a song together. Okay. I do have one with Gabzi. Okay. I say tour with Gabzi. Okay. J, I love J, but I feel like I have a deeper relationship with these with guys. The other two. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. And second one, same one as well. Bernard, Remmer, Ashaka. Feature tour and avoid. Yeah. Vile. I can't uh, do that. Really? Yeah. I thought you would do that because I thought I thought you wouldn't do the first one. Finish it. <laughs> and <coughs> If you needed a hook on your song, who are you calling? J-Hus, Kojo, or Young Bane? Ooh. Hus, you know. Really? Wow. Well, because I feel like I'd get the, the cl- they all would get the club shaken, but... The Hus would get the club Yeah, okay, get the club shake. Probably. I feel like that mystery vibe as well with him, so... Mm. You know what I'm saying? Okay, you're, you're actually done for the question. Do you want to fil- finish the... No, I do not. You want it taken away? A take- wing. Okay, cool. Far away. Wow. Can you take the shots away, please? Ooh, what is that? Vodka. Not even tequila. <laughs> Vodka, boo. Back to you, our questions. What is your day in life like right now? Um, Kind of quiet, man. Stop staring at me like that. I'm not saying... Why don't you believe me? I've been around you. Mm. <laughs> I've been around you. So, like, I know the attention you get. Yeah, so I've been around you is the safest. It doesn't mean that I don't have no self-control. I've been around you. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) So you're not dating? I'm not. I'm joking, you do have self-control, but you're not dating. Yeah. When was your last relationship? Where was your last fling? A fling? I think the last fling I had was, like, December to... End of December. Mm-hmm. No, January, actually. So, hold on. <laughs> Let me get the calculations <laughs> right. <laughs> End of January. No, no. January till... It was the when it was the night, didn't it? Oh, so was this person you met on holiday? Yeah. Nine. Wow, okay. So, yeah. it was like a holiday. Well, it was towards the end of night. Do I know the person? I don't think you met Did him. I see the person? No, I don't think you met him. Really? No. Okay, so... Why? I was... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, you like... met them on holiday. It was a holiday thing. Yeah. You didn't think you could carry that on? No, funny enough, we didn't even do like nothing actually happened like, like that. Like that mm. on the trip. Mm. It was kinda after they live in the States, isn't it? So it was kinda after I didn't, yeah. but yeah. Kinda after, after um the trip then we, yeah, yeah, yeah. we were just talking and then But why did so okay, why did your last relationship end? Why did it end? Yeah. I just feel like we just we just we just grew apart. I I don't understand that comment though. People like, how do you just obviously, yeah, people grow apart, but right. how did you like what started changing for you to grow apart? Because stuff had to change. Yeah, things do change. I think I changed. Mm. I could say that. I can't talk for her. Mm-hmm. I think she's a great girl. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say nothing bad about her. I think she's a great girl. But it's just, I feel like we just grew apart. I think what I wanted is just different. Like, bro, I'm 22. You know what I'm saying? I'm still understanding my thing. I feel like we was dating from my young. I was 19, she's 18. So, oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, we're just kind of like, yeah, we're just lucky, just grow apart. Mm. Yeah. Would you make your next relationship public? Mm-mm. That was it. Why? Hmm. But now was in my first public relationship. I said after that, no Mm-mm. more. Why wouldn't you, though? I want peace. I don't really want anyone in my business. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how, like you said, you know how I am, right? In terms of me going out, I like to be around women, right? You know yeah, we know that, boy. Mm-hmm. Because of, they're my friends. Yeah. 
obviously. <laughs> yeah. So I don't want that to be, was it misconstrued? Yeah, you know I'm saying I don't want to give anyone a headache. I don't want anyone saying, oh, rah, man was with. Because obviously when I was with Diva, every time, even you. What did I do? I didn't even tell you this. Someone texted her saying, oh, about you. When was in Nigeria together? When was in Nigeria? Yeah. Was you guys together? Weren't together, mm -hmm. but obviously we were still in communication, innit? Okay, and I was with you a lot when we was in Nigeria. In Nigeria, so obviously, some just a fan, hit her up like, oh, rah. Me and you. Oh, together? Yeah, like... But... Because remember, we landed together. You did. We was making snaps, all of this stuff. Yeah. Exactly. So that kind of... They just went back and was like, oh, rah, I'm with... Oh, so... Oh, did they know that we came to Nigeria together? So then, obviously, she knew. That's why I didn't bring it up to you, because she was like, oh, no, nah, she knows, like, we're just friends. Oh, so she was okay? Yeah, that's okay. why I didn't say nothing to you. If I said... I would have told you if she was moving mad. Yeah. She wasn't moving mad. She was like, yeah, I, I don't know, but... Obviously, you know how people are. Yeah. yeah. I think, yeah, guys, you don't, when you see me and her together, we've known each other from college. Oh, yeah, exactly. Very strictly friend. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're friends. But yeah, okay, cool. So, obviously, you're more open about your relationships, obviously, being with girls and stuff, your sexuality and stuff. How did that come to play? Because, obviously, at the end of the day, we're African, mm. like, girls and stuff like that. Like, that's a lot mm -hmm. for, like, your family to her take on and also for them to you know aunties and stuff mm. for them to know that aunties are going to be talking about it and they're not going to tell you to stop so how did that come to play for you well i think the day i told my mom felt like a massive weight off my shoulder in it like yeah. do you know what I'm saying? i feel like i've been happy since then trust like i've been happy i never felt like now it's like everybody knows what i'm on in it like mm. do you know what i'm saying so i'm just happier mm. that's telling her so having to have that conversation with my dad and my mum. Was that harder with your dad? Funny enough, not. Was no. it easier with him? Yeah. Really? Is it because you're close to like, your mum? It was harder with my mum because, I guess, yeah, because I'm closer with her. And it was kind of, it was very emotional. Was you it? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it For was, her? Yeah. So it was just, but my dad was just like, he didn't really want to have the conversation. He was like, ah, cool. Like, yeah, he didn't want to have it, so he stopped it. Yeah. Not stopped it, but it was just like, okay, yeah, no, like... Because you kind of already, he, they're not stupid, yeah. innit? Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? They're not yeah. stupid. And like, at the end of the day, listen, I'm living my life for me. And that's what I'm doing. This is what makes me happy. Yeah. I wake up feeling whole. I don't feel like I'm faking it. Good. I don't feel like I'm doing what I don't want to do. This, this is, this is me, bro. Mm. Like, do you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I always look at it. Because I, I actually am very sp sp spiritual. Mm. Like I feel like I have a great relationship with God. I just feel like listen, at the end of the day, my heart is clean, my heart is pure, mm. and I'm loving. Mm. That's what I'm doing. Do you feel like you could bring a girl home though? Or do you feel that'll be too much for them? You could bring a girl home? Yeah. Do they know your ex and stuff? Yeah. And it was fine with it. Yeah. Do you also feel like money comes to play? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying I feel like when African children have money and they have something to show for it, their parents are way more lenient yeah i would say lenient but to be fair though like i do have really great parents mm. like do you know what i'm saying i have parents who actually love me for me do you know what i'm saying at the end of the day they might i know they don't think what i'm doing is right because mm. they're african at the end of the day mm. but they love me and they want me to be happy mm. so that's that's what it that's is. what it is yeah and what is your wildest dating story so anyone you date and you think their story is wild like, what is your wildest thing? I don't have any wild stories. Or situationships. Because I think you've been in more situationships than relationships. Who told you that? <sighs> Sorry. I need to ask you. I think I'm getting too comfortable because I know you. <laughs> have you had more... Situations? I think we all do, don't it? Who's we all? Don't we all have more... Like, come on. Because not everything ends up being... In a relationship. Yeah. That's facts. Yeah, facts. So you have to find out and see... I don't think I've had anything mad happen. Really? Yeah. Or with fans? Because you said you've been there. I've had someone like, put their hands in my pants. At, in the okay. club. Oh, without your consent? And then without my consent. Really? Yeah. How did you react? She was sexy. God. <laughs> <laughs> so what does that mean? It means don't ever try don't that. Don't try that, but maybe your reaction was different because of the person. That... And I was drunk. Okay, so... You didn't feel uncomfortable. In fact, you felt comfortable. I was uncomfortable until I seen who it was. <laughs> so I just let it slide. And but if I would like, if I, if I no, there's even say no, I don't like that. 
before anybody started trying any rubbish with me. No, but obviously, yeah, cool, yeah, but you know it's not right, but yeah, you were drunk right, and no. stuff like that. No, it wasn't right. I put on her shop break. What? Shop break. Love it, man. You don't want to shop? Mm-mm. The way you're moving is like... I'm driving. Okay, so obviously, Gangsta was your first proper big hit that got you exposed and everything. Do you feel like you always have to try and outdo Gangsta? Yeah. Really? Is that the song you feel like you have to outdo? Yeah, because that's, I feel like that's what brought me into like a worldwide... For the world to be looking at me. Mm. So obviously, yes. You, it's normal now. It should be... As an athlete, you want to top your... Your, your last profit. Your last... Um, your world record or your last personal best. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. So as a human being, you're always going to want better. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you feel like favourite girl is yeah. the better? Do you feel? Yeah. Better than gangster? Yeah. Really? Is yeah. it doing better numbers and stuff? Yeah. Really? Yeah. How did the remix come? Congratulations on the remix. Yeah. How did that come to play with you and Remo? Um, I think me and Remo, was, we've, been, we've been cool. Like, we see each other. The respect is there. We mess with we fuck with each other. Yeah. And, like, we have mutual people around us, yeah. I guess. And it was just, I think we were just in the DMs, we were just getting to, we were just talking. Mm. And then I was just like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it was like, yeah, come, really? send it. And he done it. And when you heard that, did you think, yeah? yeah he like, sent it to me at like 1 a.m. in the morning. I said, well, like, how long after that you asked him, that he oh, asked? Less than 48 hours. That he came up with his thing? Yeah. That's crazy. Some niggas just have it, bro. He has it, boy. He has it. And you knew that this was the one. Yeah. So when I heard it, I seen the message come in. Ping. <laughs> I listened to it. As soon as I listened to it, I caught Obi. I said, yo, bro. That this is it. It's crazy. Yeah. Is there anyone else that you would have wanted to put on the remix or you knew that he was the one? I think this is perfect. Per- it is. I can't yeah. lie. I think it's perfect. It is. Still. You know what I'm saying? I think it's perfect. So I'm happy with it. And when it comes to music, obviously you've had your different styles. You've had Afro swing, and then you started dabbing into rapping a bit. You did though. I'm not a rapper though. But yeah, did, but I did, did. Yeah, you went there. Mm. Why did you go there? You have to test down, test the water sometimes. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> when you tested it, how did you find it? I mean, obviously, we've always it did well. Like the numbers did really well. So, mm. But at the end of it, I'm just like, this is not really what I want. It's to not do. really you. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, I'm a. We love Afro. You know what I'm saying? Afro you. So I was like, I'm going to stick to what I'm doing. That Do you feel but... like you will rap again? No. Mm. Not really, no. Mm. I like I like rapping. No, not rapping you. Yeah. I feel you. I feel me. So obviously, I don't know how it is when it comes to music, but I know like when you do stuff for a long time, it, there could be a period where like things is just not, it's just not touching where you need it to touch. Mm-hmm. Is there any point in your music career where you feel like, wow, is this over or mm. like, I'm not getting to where I want to get to you. No, we all, we all, we all, every, everything that everybody does, every type of career, you're going to feel like it's a, like, you're not really, it's, yeah, it, it, feel, it feels like, yeah, almost steady, but then you, re- then when something like this happened, like something really amazing happened, then you realise that it wasn't steady, mm. it was just like a very slow incline. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So like, I feel like all the dots that I, I put in, like putting the work in Africa, mm-hmm. the, features I was in in Africa, all, like it's all, everything that I've done all, has all come together now because I've built so many relationships, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like even with Remo, if I didn't go to Nigeria and said that, oh, rah, like doing what I was doing and putting in the work in Africa, I wouldn't have that relationship there for a moment like this that it makes sense because everything's about timing at the end of the day. So I feel like all those dots, that's the thing, you always feel like what you're doing, it doesn't make sense at the time. But then when everything actually comes together, you'll be like, rah. So I, what I done here made sense, and what I done here made sense. Sorry. And is there any point in your career where you felt like you was being forced to do things you didn't want to do in terms of like your style? Yeah, it happens to everyone though. Mm. But sometimes you have to be on your bad man things and be like, yeah. Was you on your bad man things? Yeah, for sure. Obviously, I'm independent, so now I do what I want. Oh, you're not with a label no, no more. Why? Because it's just it's just too much headache. Yeah, I'll say yeah, definitely headache, pressure, mm-hmm. and like. Being by myself, knowing that if I get anything wrong, I, I only have myself to blame. I'd rather have that than thinking, oh, nah, this guy was the one that got in the way of this. No, mm-hmm. make my own decisions. If it messes up, that's on me. I feel like that's a good thing today. So like, I feel like a lot of upcoming artists, they think once, they, once they've got the label, that that's done, they've made it. What advice would you give to people that are starting music and not their goal is to have a label, but they think that's what they're reaching for. That's what they're reaching for. You know what I'm saying? For. Yeah. It's not. 
it's really not because at the end of the day, it's all about you. Mm. It's, it's the marketing that you do. No label's going to sign you and be like, oh, okay, now, now that I've signed you, you're not putting your music out on their YouTube channel. They're not posting you on social media because they have 100 million followers and that's going to blow you up. Yeah. Everything is you at the end of the day. It's your followers, your platform, your music. Yeah. It's you. Yeah. They just obviously have the funds. They have the connections, resources, I'd say, yeah. resources that can help you. But it's all about your motion first and foremost. Yeah. So you've got to get your motion right. And if that's what you want to do, then do it. So what's your motions like? You'll be right. And what's next for you? Fucking bangers, mate. <laughs> <laughs> bangers, bangers on. Bangers bang. on bangers. But I trust you. I feel like, no, I feel like I know you'll do good. Like your music has always been a thing, whether people knew it before college or after college. Like it's always been a thing. And I'm proud of you, man. Proud of you too, man. Where you proud of? What you got going on. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Okay. So, guys, that's it with Darko. Make sure you stay in tune with her music and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this episode. Bye.